Are you planning on a trip to Kennedy Space Center and you're wondering about where to save money or what's the best way to spend your day there? Well, I'm gonna share seven tips and I'm gonna even throw in an extra bonus tip for you at the end so you can make the best out of your day at KSC. All right, number one, I'm gonna start with as soon as you get there, start with making a bus reservation. When you walk through the security check-in, you're gonna see signs to reserve your spot on the bus and they even have kiosks for that if you don't want to use your phone but definitely get a bus reservation that goes to the Saturn 5 complex because it's first come first served so you definitely don't want to miss out on that after you reserve your spot on the bus you're gonna get a confirmation email with your tickets and if you can do a tour right away because there's a lot to see there and I have more information in this video including where to sit on the bus for the best views so if you want to see more tips on getting to the Apollo 5 Center you can check out this video on the top right when I have it up. Number two, if you don't go on the bus tour right away, or if you want to start with a visitor complex, start with the Atlantis exhibit. So this is where you will actually see an actual space shuttle that had completed over 30 missions. It's gone to outer space and back. And this is not a replica, it's the real thing. And this is also where you can do the shuttle launch experience. So it actually simulates you launching into outer space. And it was such an amazing and cool experience. And I hope you guys can experience this when you visit. It's really, really awesome. And comment below and let me know, would you be interested to see what it's like to be sitting in a space shuttle and launching into space? I never thought about that before. And when I saw that that was something I could experience, I was super excited. It was really cool. And if you want to know more about the Atlantis exhibit, I did a whole video on that. So you can watch this video after this one. All right, so number three, use the lockers at the Atlantis exhibit. When you get to the area to do the shuttle launch experience, you're gonna see a bunch of lockers. These are free for up to three hours. And this is actually another reason why I would suggest to start off with the Atlantis exhibit first, because this is where they have the lockers that you can use for up to three hours and you can just explore things hands-free. And if you brought your own lunch, instead of you know carrying your lunch with you to the other exhibit, you can just stick your lunch in here. It's air conditioned. If you have a soft sided cooler, they do allow food in here. So you can just stick it in here, walk hands free, and then you can afterwards eat your own lunch, which is a really great way to save money and time. All right, so that brings me to number four, which kind of relates to that, is I would recommend bringing your own food. Um, if you've seen other tips on visiting KSC, you would notice that the food is expensive. And in my opinion, it's not that great. And there are long lines especially during busy seasons there is going to be long lines for food so I actually would recommend bringing your own lunch on KSC's own website it says that you can bring your own food and small soft-sided coolers so you can do that you know just get a small cooler but actually I would recommend putting sandwiches in a tote bag because afterwards you can fold up the tote bag and put it in your purse and so that's a really convenient way to bring your own lunch I would suggest either Either going to one of the many local bakeries in the area. You can look for a local bakery near your hotel or you can even pop into a Publix grocery store which they have these like everywhere so it's super convenient. Publix has really cheap sandwiches. A lot of times they even have a buy one get one free deal for sandwiches so you have a lot of options so for example, we just grabbed a sandwich and a wrap. And here's a bonus tip. So if you get a sub, they usually put it in like a, a wrapper, right? So I wouldn't recommend doing that per se because it's gonna get squished or the sauce or condiments might spill out, you know, and just make it really messy or make the bread soggy. So for this, I actually wouldn't recommend getting like a fresh sub that's just wrapped up. So I would recommend getting either wraps that are in a box like this or getting a sandwich in a box with the sauce on the side like this and we actually had our lunch at the Saturn V complex with a view of one of the launch pads it was really nice they have a lot of tables out there and we actually saw some people eating on the bleachers this is where people usually sit to watch a launch and when you're there you can see if you can you know get a seat on one of the bleachers and 
eat your lunch there. So afterwards, we just, you know, threw away the trash and I just folded up my tote bag in my purse and it worked out great. So number five, I would definitely recommend getting comfortable shoes. There's going to be a lot of walking and standing. A lot of the exhibits require standing to watch movie presentations. There were a few and of course the movies, the IMAX theaters, I think they actually have seats, right? But a lot of the video presentations like for the Atlantis exhibit and other ones, it's just standing room only. So be prepared to do a lot of walking and standing. And as you know, Florida is really hot most of the time, but it could also rain on you. It might be really hot outside, but inside it can get really cold depending on, you know, which complex you are in. So I would suggest wearing layers because that way you can, you know, have it off for being in the hot heat. You can have some on for the rain and you can put more on if you're cold inside the complex. Number six, there is free Wi-Fi on site. If you are visiting internationally, you will still be able to reserve your bus tours on your phone and check out their website and things like that on your phone. It's really convenient. So don't worry about data or roaming charges because they do have free Wi-Fi here and, and you can use that, which we are all about using free Wi-Fi. Number seven, so some people might say only visit KSC if you are interested in space or astronomy. But as a person who is not really into space or astronomy, after visiting, I now have a much deeper appreciation for astronomy and space and the universe. As a person who loves to travel, I always love experiencing new things. But this, it has really expanded my view of not not just the planet Earth that we live on, but the actual universe. I mean, how many people have experienced what it's like to, you know, launch into space or um, how many people have actually touched a piece of the moon with their own hand? And if you get here during a launch, you'll be one of the people who get to see a launch, you know, not just on TV, but actually live in person. So you can have really unique experiences here that you won't be able to get anywhere else on this planet. And that, my friends, that is why I would recommend visiting KSC because not only are you able to touch the moon to see an actual Apollo 5 rocket, you might be able to see a space launch as well. So these are all really awesome things that you can do here. All right, so this is a bonus. I promise you guys a bonus. So thanks for watching to the end. I really appreciate that, you guys. So this is a bonus for foodies, okay? So you can buy astronaut food at the gift shop. So if you're ever curious about what astronauts eat when they're in space, you can get these astronaut food to try at one of their gift shops. They might have them at several ones. I just saw them at this one. Um, I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. Are you curious about what astronaut food tastes like? Would you try it? Would you pass. Let me know what you think below. All right, guys, I hope that these tips helped you guys to plan your trip to the Kennedy Space Center. Once again, I'm not a spacey person, but I really loved my experience here. And I hope that the Space Coast playlist will help you guys plan your trip out here to the Space Coast. If you want to see more travel guides, go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned.